Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'll make a coleslaw. So these are the ingredients that I'll be using. So it's a one carrot, about a quarter of a um, white cabbage, that it's a speed food as well as the carrot, an apple and that also it's a speed food. Then I'm using this light mayonnaise. So one tablespoon it's a two sin and this yogurt from Lidl, which is a fat-free natural yogurt. And that one is uh, free on a plan. So let me just um, peel the carrot, grate it, and then um, slice the cabbage to like a tiny slices as well. So kind of grated, but slice it. And then I'm just gonna uh, peel the apple and then uh, also grate it on a grater and then I'll come back to you once I've done that. So now I've got the ingredients ready so I've got the cabbage ready in a bowl here so nicely shredded then I grated the carrot here and I grated the apple so I'm just going to add the carrot and the apple to the mixing bowl and then I'm going to come back to you. So I've got the ingredients in a bowl and I got myself a little ramekin dish that's where I'll mix my mayonnaise and the yogurt and I'm just going to add some salt and pepper to it as well so let me just get one level tablespoon of a mayonnaise let me just get a knife so I scrape the top so I've got my level tablespoon of a mayonnaise that's going into the dish so I'll probably need the knife to scrape it out. Let me do that both hands and then I'll come back to you. So the tablespoon is in and now I need three tablespoons of a yogurt. So that one is easy to get that level. So three, one. Two. and then we're just going to get some salt and pepper just get my salt so a little bit of salt and then I've got my pepper grinder here, or pepper mill, so I'm just going to uh, grind the pepper over it. And now I'm going to mix it all in, give it a good stir. And then once that is all mixed in, I'm just going to add it to uh, my coleslaw mix here. So now I add it to my coleslaw mix and I'm going to give it a good stir to mix it all in. So now that's all been mixed in. So at the beginning it doesn't look like a lot, but when I give it a good stir, it covers all the vegetable. So now, and the fruit actually, and the apple. So now I like to leave it for a good half an hour to an hour in a fridge just to infuse the flavor together. And then uh, I'll show you how I serve it. And this is how I'm going to have my coleslaw today. So that's my lunch. So I have got four uh, rye crisp breads. They're my healthy extra beet choice. And then two slices of ham on each uh, crisp bread. So that's protein rich food. And a bit of a coleslaw on the top. So that's a speed. And then I've got a bit more coleslaw here on the plate with in a ramekin. So that's um, loads of speed on my plate as well. And that will be about quarter of a sin. Um, no, sorry, half a sin. Sorry, half a sin for this portion. Because as you can see, I've got a lot more left. So I used about quarter of the mixture that I made. So yeah. So this is what I'm going to have today. I sometimes I have it with a burger. Uh, or I have it with... Um, any other meat but mainly I like it 
with my sandwiches so hope you enjoyed that if you did give me a thumbs up and again I'll type in the recipe in a description box below if you want to follow it so thank you very much for watching bye everyone